Hello, and welcome to an episode of EOS Repair. I am your host, Mr. Fixit. In this video, we'll be discussing the Unijunction transistor. We'll learn how it's used and different methods that you can use to test this type of transistor. So let's get started. Here we have the Unijunction field effect transistor. Now, this really isn't a true transistor or anything like that. Uh, it behaves more like a thiester than it does uh, a field effect transistor. Uh, these are mostly voltage controlled switches is basically all they are. Uh, when the emitter's voltage reaches the threshold, uh, it switches on, conducting current from the emitter to base one. And you know that's all it does. I mean, they they have no amplification or nothing. All these are is basically just a voltage-controlled switch. Now they will remain on until the current falls below the hold current, at which time the transistor will turn off. Now these aren't as commonly used today as they were, say, 10, 15 years ago. Uh, they're primarily used for in pulse and timing circuits, uh, sensing circuits, diester triggers, etc. Uh, they they're all but extinct right now. But let me show you how you, if you come across one of these or you're going to use this in one of your hobbies, let me show you how you can test these and show you how you can. Uh, hook them up to test in different ways. Here we have a basic test just using an ohm meter. Now any shorts or large differences in readings will indicate that it's a bad transistor. Now with this one you're basically just measuring the resistance between base 1 and base 2. Now they should be the same in both directions and they will measure you know a few kilo ohms or more and they should be pretty much the same in either direction or polarity if you switch your probes around. Now this doesn't necessarily mean that the transistor works or that it's good so let me show you another way that you can test to see if the transistor is working. Here we have the a simple basic timing circuit. Basically that's what this is. Uh, the 100K and the capacitor is an, what's called an RC timing circuit. The, resistor will slowly charge the uh, capacitor. When the emitter reaches a certain threshold then it conducts and discharges through the transistor. Now this should create somewhere around uh, 1 kilohertz and of course you know it's not exact I'm just kinda guessing and just hook it up to speakers or a frequency counter or an amplifier or something, you know, and this will give you an idea if the transistor is working like it should. And the 100 ohm resistor is basically just a current limiter to help control the um, transistor. I'm not sure exactly what it's for but in all the circuits that I've used it was always there so I'm not I couldn't tell you exactly what it's for because these switches are only working between the emitter and the base one so I'm not sure what it's for well that concludes this video for the Unijunction transistor I hope the video was informative 
I look forward to making some more videos. Please remember to vote whether you liked it or disliked it to let your friends and other people know. And if you have any comments, please feel free to leave any. Or you can contact us personally. I'm your host, Mr. Fixit. Thank you for watching.